Welcome to iPad 201. We're going to move beyond the basics to practical classroom uses, and we're going to look at four different apps you could use in your classroom. Two of these will be apps you could use today, right now, in your classroom, and two of them are going to be upgrades that you would want to spend some time with, get used to, and learn before truly integrating into what you're doing in your classroom. This series of videos will consist of four separate videos, one for each of the apps that we're going to be looking at. So we're going to look first at Show Me in this video. In the next video, we'll look at the upgrade to Show Me, which is Explain Everything. In the third video, we're going to look at a program called Infuse Learning. And in our fourth and final video of the iPad 201 series, we're going to look at an upgrade to Infuse Learning called Nearpod. So this is iPad 201. This note is interactive, um, so you can feel free to go to it. If you, um, you can either scan this QR code with a different device, or you can go to the URL down there, http colon backslash backslash goo.gl slash lmkzrw. So note that the M and the R are capitalized. It's case sensitive. So iPad 201. The first thing we're going to look at is an app called Show Me. Now, Show Me here, this is what the app looks like, is the one I was saying you could use tomorrow. Our next video will look at Explain Everything, which is the upgrade to this. But Show Me is an interactive whiteboard that helps you to film screencasts for student use, parent use, and general instruction. I like to tell people that Show Me is the app that'll make you a superstar on your campus. Real quick, you become an administrator's dream teacher. You become a parent's dream teacher because of your communication and your ability to demonstrate student learning and what you're teaching in your class. Show Me is also really good for the flipped classroom. So let's go over to the iPad and look at Show Me. Here's our iPad. So Show Me. Show Me is a, a real simple app. Like I said earlier, it's a whiteboard that you can use. So when you open Show Me, I have several videos already here, but this is what it's going to look like. You can create your own class, things like I have. Um, but then you want to go ahead and click where it says Create New Show Me. Once you tap there, you get this screen. And um, you see all the colors up here. Defaults to black. And if you were to just put your finger on your iPad and move it along, you will see that you can just draw on the iPad. You can sign your name. You can um, use a stylus. That's my preferred method. Um, anything you want. Up here is an eraser. Just click there. And then drag your finger across wherever you want to erase. And it erases wherever you drag your finger. If you want to erase everything, you can click over here on this one that looks sort of like a spray paint can. It's actually like a chalkboard eraser. So here you give the option to just clear everything you drew or clear everything. So if you had pictures and you've drawn on top of it, if you've annotated on top of it, then you could do clear all and get rid of the pictures and the drawing, or you could just clear the drawings and it'll keep your picture, but get rid of the drawing. Uh, so you can also choose from these different colors. There's also even the ability to add colors. Now they charge an extra fee to add extra colors. Um, so if you were to click on any of these right here, um, it will show just like this. It's going to pop up so it's connected to the app store want you to purchase them. I have no interest in purchasing them. I don't need them. So I'm just going to cancel that. So those are your colors. Um, I just stick with the original sets of colors because that's all I need. Um, last tool, this is an undo tool here. Um, and this is your ability to add pictures. So if you just click there, now you can choose photo, you can take a photo, you can search for images on the web. Um, note that on this one, it's got kind of a checkered mark here, um, a dotted mark instead of a real check mark. And that's because um, on the free version of Show Me, you only get 50 searches um, total uh, for a web image. So once you hit that 50, they're going to want you to, to upgrade your version of Show Me. Um, I personally, I've actually never used that. Um, for me, if I want to find an image on the web, I'm just going to go out to a web browser, find it, save it to my camera roll, and then just use, a, use the Choose Photo option, which is right there, to go to my camera roll. Now I can add anything in. I'll add in this little Houston Astros picture here. Um, great, I'm a loyal Astros fan. Um, I can shrink this by pinching and zooming on it. Uh, so pinch and spread are the motions there. Um, if I want to rotate it, I can rotate it as much as I want. If I had multiple pictures, I could do move to front and move to back to, um, to keep those things in there. Um, I can also, if I don't like this picture, if I click delete, it'll just go away. But for now, I'm gonna click done because this is what I want. So once I have a picture here, if I want to get rid of this picture, it's already on here right now. If I try to move it, 
you notice um, I will just draw on top of it. Well, I don't want to do that. Let me undo that image. So now I have to just touch and hold down on it. And once I do that, it gives me other options. Now I can move it, I can shrink it, and all those things I want to do again um, to it. So this is our picture. I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I don't need this picture. So how I use this in my classroom. So this was really simple. We would end up with a lesson that I was teaching. Say I was teaching math and maybe we were teaching um, on perimeter. Um, and this was something that I wanted to, to use with students. So we would be talking in the classroom. And um, as I would go through the teaching, the, the thing I wanted to do is this button right here is the record button. So once I hit this button, it's recording a screencast of whatever I do and whatever I say on the screen. So I'm just going to click right here on the record button. And notice when I click on the record that the numbers start counting at the bottom here. This lets me know that I'm recording. And so now let's teach a lesson on perimeter to our students. So I'm just going to write the word here, perimeter, and tell our students that today, as we learn perimeter, we want to think of perimeter as the total measurement around each side of our shape. So if we add up each side of the shape, it will give us our total. And so if we have four here and 10 there, and then that gives us four here and 10 here of our shape, if we just add these numbers together, it's gonna give us our perimeter. So let's do this the smart way. Let's add our tens together first. 10 and 10 is gonna give us 20. And then we see a four and a four. And I know that four plus four is eight. So I'm gonna put that there, add the total, 28. My perimeter, is 28. It's that simple. Just add up each side. So now that we've um, recorded our video, we've got our screencast, we're happy with it. Note that this is a one-shot deal. When it comes to um, show me, once you start recording, that's it. You can't unrecord what you've recorded. You can't go back and edit it. Um, it's just you finish recording or you start completely over with your presentation. So up here at the top, I'm going to click on save show me. And once I do that, it's going to take me to this menu where it kind of replays my video. Um, and you don't have to listen to it, though, unless you just want to. I'm going to click on Save down here, the blue Save button. It's going to tell me to name my Show Me. I'm going to name it Perimeter. And the cool part about Show Me is it asks you to organize what you're doing, your topic. So this is math, and I'm going to add some more because this could actually be useful for somebody else. Um, it's elementary math. Um, and then I can even narrow, narrow it down by grade. So for Texas, this is fourth grade math. Um, and I'm just going to say that's good enough. And I'm going to click I'm done. The reason I want to do that is because Show Me lets you go through and explore other people's content. Um, so these videos that you have, you can now go and search for other people. So you don't have to create your own videos. You can find a video that's really good that somebody else used, and you can pull that video as well. So now here's the magic. You saw it post there. Um, so here's the video we just created. If I click on it, it's going to pull up and it'll, it will play the whole video back. But again, I don't need to see it. I need this little button right here. So this is where the magic happens on iPads all the time. So this little rectangle with the arrow jumping out of it, if I click that, now I've got my options. Instantly, I can share this on Facebook and Twitter, or I can open it in Safari, but I don't need either, any of those. I, and this is what made me the superstar with my administrators and my parents, I can email this show me out to a distribution list of my parents, administrators, students, whoever you're using this with, whoever needs to see it, I can email it out to them. And what's cool is you're not sending the video, you're sending a link. The video itself, it'll show a preview of it right there, just a picture. But the video itself is hosted on Show Me's website, so it doesn't take up any of your district server. It doesn't take any of your personal computer space. It's all hosted on Show Me's server. So anyone can take this link, and if you send it to them, they click on it. It doesn't matter if they're on their smartphone, a tablet, a computer, a laptop. It doesn't matter. They can see this video because it's hosted by Show Me. It'll play automatically in that browser and they'll be able to watch the video and learn from the lesson. They can pause it, they can rewind it. This is where it's great for the flipped classroom. Students can pause, rewind, they can hear it again and again, see it again and again. Um, and so now if you have a distribution list, all you gotta do is go up here to the two section, type in that list, send it out. And this is what made me the star with my parents because I had a distribution list of parents set up and I would throw it in there, email it out to the parents and they could see here's what we learned this week in math or here's what we learned today in math. Um, and this was a live lesson that I would have been teaching. It required no more work. 
because I would use this as my whiteboard in the classroom. So I would be using the app and recording what I was teaching live in the moment. And all it took was a few clicks to add this, to save it, you know, hit record, save it, add the titles or whatever. And then I have this video. Now, especially when you go like small groups and guided math tables, guided reading tables, those kinds of things. Now, a student can go to over the computer, click on this lesson, watch it again, and you've cloned yourself in the classroom. You could be at a table doing some intervention groups while your students are getting the help they need of listening to your lessons that you've put on the computer and given them access to. So this is really cool, especially to connect parents who they understand what lessons you're going through um, with their students. So this is the power of show me for me. Um, I don't need this email though, so I'm going to put that off there. Oh, oh and that's um, the URL that, that that gave you there. Let me pull it back up. So this URL right here, this is perfect for QR codes too. This is like the golden thing for QR codes. Once you have that, you can have a student just scan the QR code and that video would pop up there and show me in their browser. So again, great, great, great tool. Um, other things you're going to do with show me is this explore tab. When you click there, see now you see all the reasons why we categorize. And just look at the, the lessons that are on here already, just from looking at it, right? You can grab these, you can go, if I search for math over here on the left, um, I can go down to uh, elementary math. Maybe, well, let's maybe I'm in higher math. Let's, let's go to trigonometry, okay? If I'm struggling with functions in trigonometry, here you go, the law of cosine and sines, inverse trig function overview, uh, Pythagorean identity, Oh, see, now as a teacher, you're getting excited because you can see the things that are there that other teachers have created and shared so that you, too, can use them in your classroom. So this is Show Me. It's an awesome, awesome program, and it's a program that you're going to want to get to know. Um, our next video on iPad 201 will be covering Explain Everything, which is similar to Show Me, but I like to say it's, it's like Show Me on steroids. Um, it's editable. It has all these other features. But show me you could use in your class tomorrow. You could walk in and just start using this tomorrow in your classroom. Explain everything. It's going to take you some time to learn. Um, but check in for part two of iPad 201 and you can learn about that as well.